Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic field update. I'm sure many of you have seen the headlines. Earth's magnetic field could be changing much faster than we ever realized. At the same time, we now know that Earth's magnetic field can switch direction 10 times faster than previously thought. This is based on modeling. We've been also telling you that the Earth's magnetic field is also weakening 10 times faster currently. Now let's get back to the first article from Nature. And the author, David Neal. The Earth's magnetic field flips every few hundred thousand years or so on average, which means magnetic north becomes magnetic south and vice versa. The planet doesn't actually turn upside down, just the field. New research suggests this change of direction can happen 10 times faster than previously thought. Now, just that opening paragraph is an embarrassment to paleoclimatologists, geophysicists, and any, anyone that studies in this field. The author is completely clueless to the data. Now, what he's talking about is a polar reversal of the planet. They happen every 750 to a million years. But in the interim of those million-year polar reversals where north becomes south and south becomes north, the polar fields flip and jiggle regularly every 12,500 years. We have the data. The known magnetic excursions just in the last 72,000 years are shown in this graphic. We're living the global warming magnetic excursion. I call it, call it the idiocracy excursion. The last one was the Younger Dryas event, the Gothenburg event. Prior to that, Lake Mungo, 23,000 years ago. 35,000 years ago, we had the Mono Lake. 45,000 years ago, the Le Champ. 60,000 years ago, the Vostok, 72,000 years ago, the North Atlantic and And many people that claim to be experts on the topic only talk about the Le Champ as the most recent. We're going to get to that. Or they're not even aware of any of these, but I'll show you the data. So continuing to read this article would be a waste of your time. Those are my thoughts. Now, Earth's magnetic field can switch directions 10 times faster than previously thought. What does that mean? Well, changes in the direction of Earth's internally generated magnetic field may take place 10 times faster than previously thought. Yeah, that's true. But is it internally generated? That's my question. They don't know that. But according to new research published in the Journal of Nature Communications, Hello, they know. This is a glorious picture. Let's open that up and take a look. Look at that. That's the field. Artist representation. Now, here's the paper. Rapid geomagnetic changes inferred from Earth's observations and numerical simulations. Now, according to this paper, they put in the data sets mathematically, and they found that Rapid directional changes reaching one year. Although the observational, the observations are controversial in their relation, it shows that the geodynamo, they don't, we don't even know if that's true. This whole thing is just made up fairy tales. But what they're saying is that based on the current data, they could change rapidly within just a decade. You could have a magnetic excursion in just 10 years, according to the paper, which would be devastating. We know that we're entering a magnetic excursion rapidly. The Le Champ event was not the last event, but it was a short reversal of the Earth's magnetic field. It occurred 41,000 years ago and may be responsible for the extinction of Neanderthal. Rapid geomagnetic changes inferred from Earth's observations and numerical simulations also show and prove 
what some other papers in recent months have shown. Here's an April 2019 paper revisiting the biological ramifications of variations in Earth's magnetic field. Now, let me turn that off. Now, what this paper showed is that geomagnetic excursions cause potentially mass extinctions. And I will leave you links to that PDF. But here, uh, an AGU paper, in the 29th of May, 2019, the role of geomagnetic field intensity in late quaternary evolution of humans and large mammals. This is high-resolution data coming from ice cores. And some of the graphs.